Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. There it is. Finally, it's here. The exhaust for the M5. Yes. Man, I have waited for this thing for like three weeks. The quietest V10 in the world will not be very quiet for very much longer. The thing is though, the package is kind of big and it weighs 70 pounds. It's not gonna fit in that car to take it to the shop where we have in the exhaust installed. So we're gonna have to throw it in the F-150. Oh, we got some other stuff in there, crap. Ceiling tiles. Now, unfortunately for me, I gotta wait until tomorrow until we install this new awesome exhaust, but fortunately for you guys, because of the magic of YouTube, you don't have to wait because it's gonna be in the same video. And what we haven't done in a long time is a cold start on the F-150. So if you're one of these people that think I do cold starts with the F-150 too often, stop whining because we haven't done it in a while. Here we go. By the way, we're picking up sitting from school real quick. Probably gonna turn into an A. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Don't act like you're not used to it. <laughs> So we're back home now. All we gotta do, I mean, all I gotta do is wait till tomorrow morning. You guys get to see this in a few seconds. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go to the shop, drop off this big box. And then of course we're gonna unbox it, reveal exactly what exhaust it is. Drive the truck back home, jump in the BMW, go back to the shop and actually install the exhaust. Yeah, it's a gruesome wait that I have in front of me here. But uh, for you guys, we'll be right back after this ad. Well, good, early, beautiful morning to you guys. It's like nothing happened, but 14 hours have passed. I mean, we're not gonna waste any time. We're off to Woodworks. I forgot a cold start, I forgot, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, <laughs> now we're off. Man, that is like two cold starts within just a couple minutes. We're moving crazy fast today. We're back at Woodworks. BMW and Mini Specialists, of course, they're the ones who are going to be installing the exhaust. So by now, you probably know already what type of exhaust it is, because I think I put it in the title. I'm not sure at the time of shooting this, but it is indeed the Eisenman Race Exhaust. It's definitely packaged. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Now we're just gonna jump in the M5. Gotta get the Raptor out of the way first though. There we go. So this is a cold start on a 2007 BMW E60 M5 in stock format for the last time. Yeah, it's not all that impressive. It's also the last tunnel run with stock exhaust. Nothing, nothing. You don't hear any exhaust tone from this stupid stock exhaust. Like, what are you doing, BMW? Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Eisenman race exhaust. It's actually just a axle back, which is surprising to me because my friend Doc has the same exhaust on his M6, Doc M3, and the car sounds amazing. And I was surprised that it was just an axle back and it's not a full system like a cat back. I cannot wait to get this on the car. It's gonna look so awesome. I don't know why I'm whispering. All right, here we go, boys. <laughs> It's 
So we've cut the old exhaust. Uh, we're gonna see if this is enough. They might have to cut it a little further back. And then we're gonna mount up the first side of the exhaust, which is uh, that one. It's upside down, but <laughs> it's that one. So at the same time, we're getting an oil change as well. The first one. All right, so we got the driver's side off. Look at the difference in uh, the mufflers, the exhaust tips versus the Isenman. This one weighs about like five to 10 pounds more as well. So we're, <laughs> we're doing some weight savings also. See, if we weren't doing an oil change and messing around over there now, we should start the, uh, the car up like this. This is an actual muffler doing But we can't do that. Now what they should do is change up their sign out here saying Woodworks LLC BMW Mini and Toyota Supra Specialist. All right, so we've test fitted the one side here, the driver's side. So check out the difference versus stock and then the Isoman. These tips are so big, they're oval. It gives the rear end of the car a completely different look. Man, I love it. We just can't start it up yet because we don't have any oil in the car. So big thanks to Isenman themselves and also IND Distribution, who is the only distributor of this exhaust in the United States. They're cutting off my old exhaust there. Now IND has tons of parts for luxury and performance vehicles. I'm gonna leave their information in the description below. You guys can check them out and see if they have anything for your car. Bye bye stock no. exhaust. All right, so it's fully installed. We're gonna lower the car and do the first startup. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Look at those tips, man. That is so beefy. God, that completely changes the way the car looks from the rear. All right, first cold start with an Isenman race exhaust. <laughs> oh, wow, what a difference. All right, give it a couple reps. That is an enormous difference. It's so much rumblier. Dang. So since the car got an oil change as well, we have to reset this stupid electronic dipstick thing, which is the dumbest system ever. And uh, we're waiting for it to do that and for the engine to completely warm up so we can get the rev in. <laughs> so some of you might remember is the first time I came here to Woodworks BMW and Mini is because of the car saying that it had too much oil after me filling it up like the car told me to do after it had too little oil. And then the other day it was at 0 0.7, which is completely fine uh, level. And then the day after it was at 0 0.1. So again, the stupid system started acting up. So I just told them when we put the exhaust on, let's do an oil change at the same time. Just be on the safe side. I mean, Tyler, when you stand right behind it, it sounds like a Lamborghini. Yeah, it, sounds, it does. It sounds great. That's how I titled my previous video when we just disconnected the exhaust and called it straight pipe. This sounds more like a Lambo. That tone, that typical V10 tone. I love it. The V10 M5 has finally awoke. All right, so we're all paid up. Now it's time to take her on her maiden voyage with the new Isoman race exhaust. I'm very curious to find out what it sounds like from inside the car because uh, driving it with the stock exhaust, that's when it was extremely quiet and even this exhaust sounds amazing when you're standing right behind the car. But what does it sound like when you're out driving? We're of course going to do a bunch of flybys and then the fun stuff like that. But now I want to listen to it from the inside of the car. And it makes it a little easier if we have the GoPro on instead of holding this camera. such a difference oh I love it it's not too loud it's not too obnoxious it's definitely not too quiet either <laughs> yes hopefully the GoPro audio is picking this up but the tone is just it's perfect can't wait to get to a tunnel now since we still have the secondary cats and uh, the resonator left you know if after a while I get kind of bored by this we can always do a uh, secondary cat delete full cat delete or just resonator delete everything delete <laughs> Beautiful. 
but the tone is perfect. exhaust modification has been done. <laughs> These uh, tailpipes have like protruded almost two inches since I drove here. I was told that was gonna happen with really? the heat, heat and everything. Yeah, oh, they cool. said like they were almost pretty much flush, flush here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is 100% better. <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds better than it did when we straight piped it. Yes, it does. But uh, yeah. it's not as loud interior-wise, but it sounds a whole lot better. Yeah, definitely. The thing is, I thought welding was going to be involved, but it wasn't. They cut the original muffler off, and then yeah. they just clamped it they together. Got the clamps on it, yeah. So otherwise, you and I could have done that. Totally could have done. Well, enjoy the new camera. We'll test it out at least. We got to go buy a, a charger and an SD card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna work on that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I got to go home and edit. Hey Brian! Oh, someone's being pulled over and it's not me. I don't know what that truck had done wrong because I've been behind it. It wasn't really speeding or anything. Huh. Alright, so we're finally home. She sounds amazing. I'm a happy camper. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> Still doesn't come close to the F-150 though. <laughs> so thanks to IND Distribution once again. Make sure you check them out. I'll leave a link for them in the description below. Maybe you can find something for your car. But that's going to do it for today's video. So if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you feel like you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.